Hare Krishna dear devotees, in this video I will in details explain to you how to start a cooking channel on YouTube. Many of you ask me what to do if I'm a housewife, I'm voluntarily a housewife, but I have financial insecurities. If you think like that, then this will be helpful for you. And some of you may think I am bored at home. What to do? So this will be helpful for you. Maybe you can start a cooking channel on YouTube. One of the Mataji's requested, uh, she cooks very nicely and she's a housewife. Can So she requested me, can I explain more on how to do it? So there, there are different ways of using your cooking skills and helping others. And in this video, I will talk to you about, especially about cooking channel on YouTube, creating a cooking channel on YouTube, what kind of niches you have to go and uh, uh, what kind of videos, overhead shots or different types, everything I will explain to you in details. So mainly there are two types of cooking channels. Uh, one is when person comes and you see the cook and she will come and talk, explain that what she's gonna cook and then she will show the recipe of cooking and she will explain it with her words how she is cooking. So that's the one type of cooking channel. And other type is where you don't see the person who is cooking. You just see the hands of that person. And then um, that's called overhead shots. Usually they are done using overhead shots and they add some side angles, different angles too. And mostly they start with overhead. One of, the, one of the examples of overhead shots, I'll start, I'll show you what is the example I'm talking about. So one of the examples is Heber's Kitchen. Heber's Kitchen, we all of us know. And uh, in her channel, we see only how she is cooking and we have never seen who is she. And other example is, uh, here is one more example, but she is not a devotee and she cooks non-vegetarian items too so this is the first version of the video where she comes in the video and then talks and then shows the recipes so in this uh, downshiftology for example she has one one point five hundred seventy k subscribers one million five hundred and um her shots are amazing, the quality of camera and everything. Uh, whereas Hebar's Kitchen, she mostly uses, um, even though she earns a lot from her YouTube channel, she uses very basic utensils. She uses sometimes aluminum and she uses not so much like Le Creuset, very rich quality vessels because her audience is normal people, like normal people in India who cannot afford Le Creuset for $300. So that's why her audience is like that. So she uses those kind of items to cook. Whereas different channels, for example, Tasty, they use Le Creuset because their audience can afford those kind of uh, vessels. So they use that. So Tasty also is second type of video, mostly. They started with that shooting without no, without sh showing the person who is cooking. So what is a pros if you come in the video? If you have a very bright personality and you can speak nicely without uh, 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 and uh, if people love you, then they will subscribe because they love you. In this world, many people don't like many people. So if some of somebody doesn't like your personality then they may not subscribe to your channel and they may not watch your videos that's why in the second type of videos where you don't show yourself and just the recipes then you may have a lot of subscribers because they don't see the personality they just did see the recipes and then they just want only the recipes but the plus side of when you show yourself you will develop a community subscribers people who really trust you so even though you don't have a lot of subscribers like downshiftology she's doing it for many years her kitchen is also doing similar maybe three or four years 
and they have different subscriber numbers like and their earnings also different in order to see the earnings of each channel approx approximate not exactly you can go to socialblade.com and Hibbers kitchen and see how much he makes approximately per month so before COVID, she was making around um, 17k per month. Now it's showing that the monthly estimate minimum is eight eight thousand dollars. And um, for example, for my channel, it shows um, minimum is ten dollars, and it shows hundred something dollars. But actually, uh, my channel is very small, and it earns minimum twenty dollars. So if here. The minimum is showing eight thousand dollars, so she, probably she is earning ten thousand dollars per month. And don't worry if you stay in the U.S. and uh, make this kind of money, half of that or forty percent of that goes for tax, so you may get around seven thousand or uh, seven thousand to your hand if you work hard like this at Burst Kitchen. She uploads once in a month, uh, once in a day. Uh, every single day and she has around 1640 uh, videos now let's see the earnings of downshiftology downshiftology uh, for some reason downshiftology is not allowing me to see how much she makes okay let's go for another example of Kapitas kitchen Does. because she is also somebody kind of downshiftology but she's running and she has 10 million subscribers and around 1000 videos and she's running her uh, YouTube channel around 6 years and uh, she is making minimum 10 10,000 dollars but because she has 10 million subscribers if if Heber's kitchen is with 5 million subscribers making 8 thousand K and um, there was 10 million subscribers Kavitas Kitchen is making only 10,000 uh, then there is a little bit gap we can observe that actually her burst kitchen in the long run from AdWords can make a lot more than um, those people who like Kavita and Downshiftology why because I told you the reason many people don't many few people may love you like 10 million people love the kabida so they subscribe to her the youtube channel other thing is if you have if you show your personality even if you don't earn much from the ads you can because you have a good community trusted people then you can uh, this business people they will approach you with promotional videos so they will request you okay i'll give you 2000 rupees or 10000 dollars maybe uh, to promote our product for example maybe cuisine art can approach this kabita and then tell her please make a video cooking with cuisine art and advertise our product then they will give some money to kabita so that's that's kind of uh, promotions you can get if you have trusted community of subscribers but for example Heber's kitchen she doesn't show herself and nobody knows about her we just know the recipes so for her it is a little bit difficult for sponsors to give their products so that she can advertise because she may take the products and just cook in them but she cannot tell to people this is a nice product this is nice things so that's a difference uh, if you show your personality you may not earn much from the ads but you can earn from sponsors whereas if you are just showing the recipes many people may love what you do so they not you yourself but what you do so they will subscribe and they'll watch your videos and that way you earn a lot from the adwords adsense to make first type of videos where you have to come yourself in the video first of all you need very nice kitchen like if you look at this uh, downshiftology's kitchen many things are bright white color and everything is neat it's very difficult to maintain that standard and um, 
she herself also she has to be looking very nice like neat you, you shouldn't be coming in the video with dirty clothes or without any makeup but that's it that's a cons of that style of video you have to put little more effort you need to have you need to change the camera angles like right now i'm shooting with one camera and when i when you are cooking i will be cooking in front of me so i need one camera there one camera here focusing in the food so i, I as if you notice downshift a lot she puts a lot of effort in changing the angles of the camera whereas with heber's kitchen she just had the overhead shot and she's just working and you don't need to be wearing proper things you just need you don't need a background good good kitchen in the video you just need a proper tabletop and then cook right in that small place so that's a difficulty with showing yourself but there is a reward for that too uh, but to start with overhead is very easy easier than the other one one thing what kabita does not like she don't shift the logic kabita does she cooks everything like her burst kitchen overhead and from the sides but herself she doesn't show while she is cooking later maybe in other day she will make up and uh, dress nicely and then she will sit in front of the camera like what i'm doing and maybe she will put the camera in the kitchen and sit in the kitchen and start explaining the recipe so and then while editing she will just mix the recipe and her talks so that's another way that that's a little bit easier than what downshiftology does she puts a lot of energy and effort now how to uh, start with overhead shots let's go to that i made a small video on that i will show you there in, in, in front of the window how so how you can shoot overhead videos this is the sunlight during the daytime and I have this stand actually this is a light stand what I did is I reduced the height of this I cut it somehow and it was shaking so I put this I put this wood and on the bottom too I put wood so that it doesn't shake when I put the camera so I put it here in front of the window And for the background, I have this kind of, uh, this is called vinyl paper or something like that. You can clean it with wet cloth, but still you cannot wash it in washing machine. So you put like this, and when I put the camera from the top, I have good light. And uh, in this area, I can cook. I, I can show the cooking video here. now this thing has different different colors and different designs for example the other side is a little bit different you can get it on amazon or on etsy anywhere you have to search for backdrops or floor drops and to put the camera on the stand here in this place i use this clamp from Mono, Mono Frodo or something like that. It's a very sturdy one, but you have to buy this thing separately. It's called, I forgot what it's called, but you can search something to attach Mono Frodo to the camera. So you need to, I forgot what is that. I, I may write in the description of this video, what is this? What is this? So I put it here, but because like this and from here I attach the camera tighten it and for overhead videos you have to make sure your camera is straight otherwise it will create headache so like this and I will screw the camera here and if I wanna yeah because in the, it's in the floor I don't need this wire to if sometimes I keep this one on the on top of table, then it will be too high to me. That's why I use this wire to connect to my Canon 80D camera. And then the other side of this wire, 
I connect to my laptop so that I can control the camera from the laptop. So this is how I shoot the overhead videos, for example, the tutorials for pattern deed dresses. So if you if you don't have light and if you don't have a proper overhead video uh, system, then you can use some kind of this kind of structure. It is not very difficult to make also yourself. So all the items I mentioned, I will put in the description of this video. Even the product is out of stock, you can get the idea of what I was using. Now, if you want to start what type of cooking video, then you can see the social blade and see how much they're making. And uh, can you afford coming and appearing in the video yourself? And, um, or you can just start with overhead videos and just focus there on the recipes first. You can decide. Now regarding video uploads, if you have Mac laptop, you can use iMovie. It's free. It comes with uh, Apple Mac laptop. If you want to a little bit increase the quality of um, iMovie, then you can go and buy Final Cut Pro 10. I have that one. And if you are a student or teacher, they have some bundle and discount for uh, this kind of students and teachers. But iMovie does exactly the same like uh, Apple Final Cut Pro. But uh, Apple Final Cut Pro has a little bit different uh, structure, but iMovie also does exactly. It doesn't change the quality of your video. It does exactly the same editing like Final Cut Pro. If you have Windows, many of you in in India may be using Windows laptop. So in Android phone, there is Power Director video editor. That's I found very simple, like iMovie, nice video editor. It doesn't have so many different difficult um, things. Simple video editing. You can just watch tutorials on YouTube how to use how to use iMovie and how to use PowerDirect video editor on Android. And if you are good at video editing, then you can go for professional Adobe Premiere Pro. That is pro video editing software and it can do great things, but you need to know how to do it. Again, there are so many YouTube channels which show you the full tutorial on how to do it. But one thing is Adobe Premiere Pro is very costly. Um, probably per year you have to pay, you cannot buy it eternally. So other thing is when you are uploading your videos, now you edited the videos and you are uploading your videos, make sure the thumbnails look very nice. Because if the thumbnail, because if I'm searching for pulao recipe, no, no onion, no garlic, pulao recipe, and I see how it looks like it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look nice. Why I will cook that. So make very good attention, put a lot of attention to the quality of the photograph you are taking after you cook the food, make sure you take very nice pictures of the food, final food. And for that, I'm not the right person because I also suffer with taking proper pictures. So I would suggest you to go to. I'll suggest you to go to the YouTube channel called Bite Shot. So she has around 158 videos on only how to shoot food, how to make, how to photo the food. So she will explain how to light the food and um, different angles. Very professional person. She's not a devotee again, but uh, she has all these non veg things. But as a skill, we can learn and use it in Krishna service, right? And bless her with devotion too. Now, regarding when you upload, and now you have good video, you edit it nicely. When you edit your videos, observe how this Heber's kitchen does. She doesn't, when you are putting, like, for example, you cut the tomato. She doesn't show full process of cutting tomatoes. You know, it takes like five minutes to cut all the tomatoes. But just be very, very mindful of that. Because in the video, we don't need to show 
all the details of the pro uh, process. Like if you show the cutting part of the tomato, of maybe one tomato, then don't show the other 10 tomatoes. Just cut it out while editing. And the same thing is when you're putting that tomato into the dish, maybe you are taking with one hand, putting one time, don't show that much slow. Just take one and then cut out the place and then show that all tomatoes are inside the food. So be very mindful that people really want everything fast. So you have to keep that in mind. Now you have good thumbnails, you have nice video. Now let's go for tags. I use this Google AdSense. You have to create one account on Google AdSense. And then there you can, in Keyword Planner, for example, I wrote here potato recipes. Now let's see potato recipe. Okay, let's see, see results. So here you will see monthly average search is from 100k to 1 million. So that means in the areas like India and United States, not in whole world, in only these two countries, monthly people are searching for potato recipes, like 100k minimum and 1 million times. So if you make like competition also, people are, there are very less number of people who are making potato recipes. So that's why you can compete in this place. Now here you can see how much approximately you will earn if somebody clicks on your ad. Minimum you will earn $1 and maximum you will earn $8. If like this you will see. Now and when you go down here you will see baked potato again same number and the ad little bit lesser and this one is like $6 sweet potato. Mm, sweet potato recipes. So different roasted potatoes, so many potato recipes that people are searching. And if you put, for example, let's say a Kaddish recipes. Let's see how our devotee is searching for a Kaddish recipe. Okay, so a Kaddish recipes is monthly search minimum 100 times and 1000. It's a lot. And now advertisers are also started advertising on Akadashi foods, Akadashi recipes. So you will earn around eight cents minimum and then one dollar maximum. And somebody is searching like thousand people are searching Akadashi recipes, it's gone. So they want nice. So like this, if you open account in Google ads sense, then you can do research like this. Um, and find out the keywords you want to focus on, tags you want to put. So other thing is, if you make a recipe about potato, so don't use in the tag uh, carrot or something else, unrelated things, because YouTube is very professional. And when you put tags, use everything related to potato. If it's potato recipe, write potato recipe and the search all these keywords related to potato and put. Now, other thing is, it's very important that when you're starting out, focus on small niche. For example, Heber's Kitchen, when she started out, she focused on Tamil, Tamil Nadu recipes, Tamil Nadu vegetarian recipes. Tamil Nadu is not a whole world, but now she's uh, occupied by a whole world, 5 million people. Why I'm saying is because if you get scattered, like one time you cook cake and one time you cook ice cream and one time you are cooking colombo, potato colombo or something like that, people will think, what is this? I cannot understand. So that's why you focus first on small niche. Uh, for example, Rak's Kitchen also focused on Tamil dishes. Heber's Kitchen also. Maybe Manjula's Kitchen focused first on Gujarati dishes. I don't know, please advise me. Then you can increase your range. You can go for the for now. If you see Heber's kitchen, she cooks cakes also. She cooks other things, ice creams. It's not Tamil, but it is she cooks. She increased her range. But she started with small niche. Now examples of niche is what you can do. Ekadashi recipes. A YouTube channel for Ekadashi recipes. 
you complete all the Ekadashi recipes, then once you have 10,000 subscribers and you finish your Ekadashi recipes, then make it a separate playlist in your same channel, Ekadashi recipes, and start another playlist, potato recipes maybe. So you start like that. Or you can start with potato recipe, as you see. So if we saw in the Google AdWords that there are so many people searching for potato recipes. So if you make potato recipes, every recipe possible about potatoes, then you may be found on YouTube. And other idea is vegan prasadam recipes. You can focus only on vegan prasadam recipes or rice, different rice varieties, lemon rice, curd rice, um, tamarind rice, tomato rice, carrot rice, coconut rice, different different rice recipes. Why not? It will be nice. Or juice recipes, like you start your YouTube channel and different varieties of juices. Or salad recipes, different varieties of salads. So these were my detailed research on how to create a cooking channel, how to start a cooking channel on YouTube. And my final notes is pay please attention to the quality of your recipes. Because sometimes when I go and see one person's website and YouTube channel and I want take out one recipe and then I cook it and if I don't like it, I won't trust to other recipes. I'll say what is the I don't want to waste my products just uh, for this kind of non-tasty food. So when you want to make a video, make sure that your recipe is very much detailed and very tasty. Try it again and again. For example, when I see some recipes where they write, put some salt according to taste. And then they write, put some water according to proper consistency. I was like, what? Why some water? They have to give exact details. How much water? How many minutes I need to boil? How much salt I need to put? What type of salt I need to put? So if your recipes are perfect and detailed and um, very tasty, then people will trust. They will come back again and again. And they want to trust only you and they want to cook only the recipes you provide. Pay attention to the quality of your video. These days, if your video quality is not good, if the lighting is not good, and uh, if editing is very long and slow, then people won't watch it because already there are so many nice videos. In order to compete with them, you need to put a nice effort in making video quality very nice. So initially you can start with window light. If you have a big window, use that light and do it in the daytime where sunlight is very strong and you will get very nice shots. And now final thing, final note is since we are worshiping Krishna and we want our cooking videos also to show that devotion to Krishna. That's why maybe you can on the place of some, some people after they cook, they bite it and keep it in the plate. And it feels like we are cooking for ourselves. But in our videos, in devotional videos, we can show how we are offering it to Krishna. Very small, like very quickly. Not Don't show like 15 minutes, keep in front of the deity. And no, just show how you're offering to deity and then show the final prasadam video. <laughs> so these are the ideas, final notes and the details if you have some questions. And if you want to run a blog on cooking, like rockskitchen.net or heberskitchen.com, let me know. I can explain about the blog process also. Even if you don't have any software skills, I can explain to you how you can create a very nice website. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear Vaishnavis. And hopefully you will use your time in a proper way. And who knows, maybe you will become next Hebras Kitchen but in a devotional way. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna.